Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a Pokeball in Desmos 3D. To start, we're going to define a radius. And stuff that I'll mention off the bat is we do have the sphere function where you can give it an origin. And put radius here. The problem with this though is if you want to put an inequality on here, since we are going to use one color for one half and then a different color in the other half, um, doing, doing something like this isn't allowed for this type of expression. And so we're going to use the generic equation of, of a sphere, which we can do, which is z squared is x squared plus No, it's x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals r squared. So what this allows us to do is, is solve for z for both halves. So what that gets us is, I'll leave this up so you have some bit of reference, square root of r squared minus so I want to bring everything over to the other side, that's why we're subtracting x squared minus y squared. And for the second half, we'll just use the minus solution. Now Pokeballs tend, tend to have a little gap in between, and so I just made that gap, call it D, you can call it whatever you want. I just made it 0 0.5, that's too big, we'll, we'll adjust it, sliders make it very easy. And so for that, I'm going to say this is, this is our displacement over 2. The reason we divide by 2 is we need to do, th do this twice. So we move this up by half this amount, and we move this down by half this amount. And so this gap here is actually half. Now we can fit an equation for, for for a cylinder because it's how we want to fit in between. And the equation for that is you might have C before x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. And first one, um, we want to extend this to 3D. So what this reason you don't see a height in here is because this e this equation encompasses basically says this is true for all values of z. That's why they, they don't explicitly mention a z. And so we extend it to three D. So this is the cylinder visualized. And now 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 we can actually cut it off at at our heights. So it'd be minus d over two. So is less than or equal to z. Is less than or equal to positive d over two. So this will fit this. You gap in between, and then, and finally we want that button that goes to the center when you when you open this Pokeball. And so there's two equations that they, they can use. There's this one y squared plus z squared it is equal to. Let's make a another radius. And so there's this one that 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 uh, gets a cylinder running along the x-axis. If you want it on the y-axis, you would switch the y for for an x. Either way, it, it gets the same job done. Um, we also do want to fill um, fill in the caps. And so for that, we have to use inequality. And if you zoomed out, you notice that this cylinder extends on. And so we do want to cut it off. So, so I'm going to use this along the y-axis. So our inequality, I'm going to use 0 because you're not going to see it anyways. So y is less than or equal to. I'm just going to use a radius. So if you look at it from straight on, that's the front. That's you, 
you, you get the whole shape. And of course, you could change it to however you like. So for the top one, I think most tend to be red. They're also black, unfortunately, so I'm, so I'm using the, so I'm using a blue color as a stand-in. This is cylinder, and this is the button that people press to open it. All right, so that's how I make a Pokeball in Desmos 3D. Hope you find this video helpful. If you did, consider leaving a like. If you want to see more videos like this, do subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next video.